In this world turned graveyard, every footstep is a calculated dance between life and death. I've become a wanderer in a land of ghosts, driven not just by the need to survive, but by the hope that my family might still be out there. I move with caution, weaving through the ruins of cities and the skeletal remains of once vibrant communities. The journey is a solitary one, and the road home is paved with uncertainty. But the possibility, however faint, that my family endures becomes the unyielding force driving me forward. Welcome back, everybody, to the story of Sam. This is our main character, Samantha. We are in Livonia. We're trying to head south to find Samantha's father. We last left off in this campground and we had to make some hard decisions. I went through the inventory. I did decide to uh, chunk the um, tundra just because uh, if you look at my ammo, I have tons of Mosin ammo and I only have five 308. So I have no ammo for the tundra. Maybe we'll find one later down the road. But when I did log in, to this uh, cabin where we logged off, I found uh, a compass and I did find an updated hunting scope. Uh, so if we do get the Tundra later, so we are going to stay with the SK 596 and we're going to stay with the Mosin for now as our main two rifles. Before we get going, I remind everyone that I did start the community discord. So feel free to join that. You can find the link in the description. I also had some questions that I asked last time, but we're going to move on down the road and then I will get to some of those answers that you left in the comments. We're actually going to leave this campground and we are going to follow. We're going to do some back. We're going to get off the main road and follow this trail. So this trail heads south and it goes to, we're trying to get to Polonia. I don't know exactly how far away it is. I know it's pretty far away, but there is Polonia South is the next big, uh, I mean, the next mile marker that we kind of want to, uh, or the, you know, the place we want to reach before we continue the journey. So what are those, what do those signs say over there? Yeah, I don't know what those signs say. All right, but we're going to move on down the trail. And I'm not for sure, but I think people call this the Red Trail. If you know, if this is this called the Red Trail? Because there's like red markers, and I think that's called the Red Trail. There is like a... Let's go look real quick. What is that? Okay, Red Trail's right here. Let's go look here. Did someone dump? Look at that. Look at that! Oh my goodness. Is, anyone, is someone around here? Or do they just hide this stuff there? They just dumped the stuff here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we got a splitting axe. We got a Mosin, which I already have. They have a CR, but, but I don't need that. CR-75. Um, they got tons of bandages. Uh, most of the stuff I already have. Look, there's a compass I just got. 762 by 54 What is mine? That's for the Mosin. Man, we are loaded on Mosin ammo now. Let's take this. Move it there. Take these five. Move it there. Let's make sure no one's coming around here. Okay, um, 9 by 19. I do have some 9 by 19. I'll add that to my. Oh no, that took the place. Keep the ones that I have. Uh, 380. Man, I got plenty of 380. Let's take that. All right. Oh, I want another box of matches. Uh, I don't want, the, I don't want that gun. Yeah, I, I don't want the CR. I'm fine with the gun that I have. Um, I don't want the P1 mag. I will take one extra, even though I already got two, I will take extra bandage. Now I've already weighed myself down, so I don't want to keep weighing myself down. Uh, 
morphine injector. I have a morphine injector that's badly damaged. Let's trade out that one. And do I hear something? Um, no, I, I already got me a good machete. I got me axe. Uh, I, I got those matches. I don't really need that Two. Can I add that to my, yeah, now I've got nine chlorine tablets. Um, I don't want the zero 75 and I don't want, I still don't know what the tire repair kit fixes other than tires. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know who put that there. I don't know when they put that there. Uh, we're going to move on down the red trail. Where was the red trail? Yeah, that's going back to the main road. So I don't want to lose this trail. Well, that was a, a good little find right off the bat right there. So when I just looked over there because I knew the road was there. And I said, what is that? It's something that's clearly blue standing out. I had no idea that it would be a stash of stuff. I guess they didn't have a shovel to bury it. Well, that's cool. We're going to get a, a little way away from here because I don't know who stashed that there and when, how far did they log off? How far are they away? Oh, this trail's crossing the road here. See, look, see this red marker there? Is that why this is called the red trail? I'm just guessing that's why it's called the red trail. But it crosses, where does it cross at? Right here. Yeah, look, see there's a marker right there to let you know you're going the right way. I'm glad they put that there because I would get lost. Well, we're going to follow the red trail and then we're going to we're gonna get somewhere right down here. And then I'm going to read your comments that you left for the question that uh, we discussed in the last episode. Well, this trail is kind of... Oh, look. There's the marker there. Well, I'm glad that's there. Let's see if we can find a little safer place to read the comments. There's something up there. Caravan. Let's see what else is down here. And I did... Um, when the last episode I was talking about how we were having the total solar eclipse come, uh, that we did experience that. It was pretty cool to watch it. Um, it was really cloudy that day, but the clouds would clear up just enough where you really could see it. So I uh, did get to see the total eclipse. It went dark. Um, you know what? I think I have a video. I'll put it in the Discord. Of, I just recorded it with my cell phone where it went dark to where my outdoor sol my light, solar power light started coming on because it was so dark. It wasn't dark for long, though. It was only just a few minutes, and then it started coming back to normal. There's the red trail. You know what? I don't know. I'm going to keep my gun out because I don't know what wildlife or they're going to be wolves, bears. I don't know what that person is that stashed that stuff, so I'm going to have the gun out. Yeah, the solar eclipse is pretty good. Um, you know, you don't really get to see it very often, so it was cool to see. Well, I could have went to that caravan and hid, but I want to get a little further away before I stop and read the comments. And you know, that made me think, looking at that stash that we found, and it had the CR-75, I've used the Glock a lot. I've been keeping this Scorpion because I have ammo for it. And of course, we know the, the MK2 is just good for killing zombies. So that's the question. That's the question for this video. As far as handguns, when you're playing DayZ, and it doesn't have to be DayZ, we can do it both. You can say, what's your favorite DayZ handgun? And what's your, if, if you like to uh, shoot guns in real life, uh, do you have a favorite handgun that you like in real life? I can say, there's that sign. I got to keep up with that sign. Um, 
I've, I don't know, I, I guess I would say in the game, the, the Glock or whatever it's called, it was probably would be my favorite just because that's the one I've used the most because you find them at the police stations. In real life, I have shot a few handguns and what I do, I don't have now, but I do want to get is, it's called the Shield, Smith & Wesson Shield, right? I believe that's what it's called, the Shield handgun. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite daisy and or in real life do you have a favorite handgun that you like to shoot. I'll tell you a story um, real quick. Speaking of handguns, when I was a kid, I don't know, man, I probably could have been 9 or 10, maybe younger, but I would say around 9 or 10. Um... My father and older brothers that went out hunting, and then you know you have regular uh, rifles and twenty-two, you know, small hunting, small game, and you know, dove and stuff like that. But he had a handgun, and it was a revolver, and I don't remember what it is at all. But um, here's a dirt road. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stay on the trail. Anyway, uh, when you went out to the place, you went out someplace like this. And you uh, would shoot. And then he also set up some cans and stuff. And was practicing with his revolver just to shoot it. And at that, that day, he showed me how when you have the revolver cocked, but you want to release it and you don't want to shoot. That you, you know, how you slightly press on the trigger and then you can, you can release the hammer without shooting. And, I, you know, I thought that was cool. He showed me that while we were out. And then we get back home, and he has a gun bag, and he sets it in the room. And then everyone goes to do their own thing. Well, I thought it was so cool that uh, what he showed me, that I went into another room and thought that I'm, I'm going to practice doing that. Well, next thing I know, my older brother comes in the room, and here I am holding the revolver, practicing releasing the hammer. And uh, he quickly um, got it from me. And of course, ran and told my dad and just, let's just say it, things did not go good. I remember not to do that again. Now there's a mushroom. Does that mean someone's been walking by this trail? So the lesson for that, of course, for me, was lesson not to do that. Uh, but for your, the parents, like if you're going to bring home a loaded weapon, it was loaded, by the way, it was totally loaded in the house. Put the gun away. Unload it and put the gun away. He had, he had, he put that stupid gun in the bag and it was loaded. And then I was in there playing with it. Luckily nothing happened, but we hear stories where things do happen. So definitely if you have guns, put it away. All right, let's see if we can find a, a place to get safe. And then I'm going to read comments from last time. Man, this is so far. Oh, there's water down there. Maybe we'll stop up here. Is there a little shed down that water? Okay, there's some rocks that go there. Let's go a little bit further and see what's on the, by this water. Oh, that's a dam. And there is something over there. And the trail comes here. Let's see the best way to cross that. How long does that go? Would it be easier to go back to the dam? This looks like it would be a nice place to go fishing. Alright, what do we have up here? see any zombies chain mail I really don't want chain mail I already can't move let's get in here and see what we got protective case that's it all right we're gonna crouch down here and then I'm going to look at the comments so we asked or I asked about um, if you were in the daisy zombie apocalypse what and you came across a group that had um, 
a professional chef and you haven't eaten but nothing but beans forever, you know, what would be your requested meal? All right, a quiet bunk. Um, he says he would have to be Christmas dinner with all the trimmings, but it's, it's the British equivalent to the Thanksgiving meal here in the States. Oh, and also, this is a good one. Uh, he, when I was talking about the solar eclipse, he gave us a joke here. A young boy asked me if I could explain what a total solar eclipse was. I replied, no sun. No sun. Get it? That's good. All right. Um, a Bill in W2250, Bill in WA2250, uh, said he would have to agree with Christmas dinner with all the trimmings. He likes ice cream or an ice cold beer might also be a good choice. Since, uh, you know, the day Z, there's no electricity for a long time. Uh, oh, and then he gave me a good uh, advice about uh, the stamina and the weight. And, of course, the plate carrier and the ammo are really heavy. Matter of fact, I tested that. Thank you for that advice. Look at this. If you look at the bottom left screen, you see my stamina next to the little guy down there. Now, I'm going to, let me put my gun up for a second. Now, I'm going to take off the plate carrier and watch how much the bottom left stamina goes up. That's how much stamina you lose when you get the plate carrier. Of course, I have a lot of ammo too, but it's mainly the plate carrier. So, you know, it's going to protect you. Probably normally, if I wasn't worried about someone shooting me, I would probably just carry like a hunter vest or something like that. But uh, if I'm worried about being shot, then, you know, you get the plate carrier. It's going to tank around. Okay, moving on to the comments. At, uh, I don't know how to say this. Pr help me pronounce this. It's Jatrua, J-A-T-R-I-U. Jatrua, is that a character name? Is that something I should know? Jatrua2688. Um, oh, he also, he, he, was, he wasn't given the food, but he says uh, the plate carrier also is the weight that goes on. Uh, and he says you can reload just by holding R if you have a 308 Savannah. Okay. Another comment uh, by Nancy Charver about the plate carrier. Y'all y'all are on it with that plate carrier. All right. Nice Road Gaming says chicken fried steak with all gr with uh, gravy, mashed potatoes, and green beans would be the meal. Uh, oh, and some banana pudding uh, or apple pie. That sounds definitely, that sounds like a Texas meal right there. Okay, at which 1919, um, he said he would want some stuffed shells, but after eating beans and junk, he would welcome anything um, and said he's from New Mexico. All right, not, you know, not far from Texas. All right, uh, Ian Williams, 3254, says he's requesting good beef vindaloo with nan bread and papadums and lots of rice, of course. All right, and... OG WA Wakanami. <laughs> he says he kind of a uh, fan of baked beans, but would do barbecue mutton ribs. And then at tomorrow call, the last one says chicken fried steak and eggs with hash browns, biscuit gravy, rye toast, and grape jelly. All right, all good comments. That's all sounds like some good food and it's making me hungry. Is it getting dark or is it about to rain? All right, we're going to move on, even if it is going to rain. I want to try to get close as I can to Polonia. And then, so we're going to go back to the red trail. I'm going to get my, get my SK back out. Just because, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm very unfamiliar with this area, so I don't trust anything. All right, where'd the red trail go? Go. No, it's up here somewhere. Is this it? Here it is. is it the, or is it the red trail because it's red, red colored dirt? I don't know. All right, here it, here we are, Mantha. Oh, let me go back to first person. Trying to move south to find her father. Started. All the way north in Lacau or Laco and worked our way down here. It's kind of peaceful right now. Let 
wind's blowing. Look at those trees. My goodness. They sure do move a lot. All right, I, we, um, I don't know if it's going to happen or not yet, but hopefully uh, coming soon. I think it's this coming w weekend. Um, there's a tur tournament that I tried to get into, a Daisy tournament. I was going to be in an, another time because they have it like once a month and I couldn't make it that one. But right now I'm on like the reserve list. So it really depends if someone can't make it then maybe i get a chance to get in which uh would be really fun and i'm gonna live stream it hopefully we can make it and hopefully uh it'll be fun and hopefully i can stay it's a pvp so definitely not my strength so hopefully i would get in it and still stay maybe get a kill and stay alive following the red trail with no stamina yeah, it's going to rain soon. I can tell. All right, I'm going to put my gun up just long enough where I can eat as I walk. Get my knife. Open this up. All right, is it open? All right, we're going to walk and eat. Eating some tuna. I only have those two cans of food left with, you know, other than what I'm eating right now. So, oh my gosh, I already ate the tuna. Thought it'd be more bites than that. That looks pretty cool. And it's kind of hard to see where the trail there it is kind of was hidden for a minute oh there comes the rain so we'll be wet whenever we get to where we're going i don't know if we can make it all the way to polonia i really don't know how far how long it takes coming from where we were but we are going to try to get to polonia would be our next big stop Get my gun back out. I'll shoot these raindrops. All right, here we are. We got something right here. Let's see what we got. It'd be a good place to get out of the rain, I guess. I see a shed. I see an outhouse. And I see an actual house. This looks like a good little place to hold up. Let's go ahead and make sure it's safe. Cargo pants. I got. My, I like my pants. Three fifty-seven. Didn't I have some three fifty-seven? I might get rid of it because I don't have a three fifty-seven gun. I don't know why I'm holding to it. Is it just the handgun that only holds a three fifty-seven, or is it uh, other? What is that? Is that a, is that a tundra? It's another tundra. It's damaged though, but I don't have any. That's the same problem. I've had a tundra earlier but i have no no ammo i have five shots for tundra so why do they keep giving me tundra rifles but no tundra ammo i'm getting tons of mosin ammo and a stupid helmet and wellies that i definitely don't need should we stop right here and make a fire should we keep moving on I feel like there would be another place. I'm, I'm only barely damp. I'm not super wet. So maybe we should move on till, till we find another place like this. Because we'll probably be wet by then. And then we'll really need to uh, stop and make a fire. I'm only damp right now. I can keep going. All right. Here is a road, but where's the, which way, okay, I got to pick up the red trail though, 
that's the road. I keep going this way, right? Because I'm going south. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We did get the compass. Uh, this is the first time I had the compass. This whole... Oh, no, what did I do with the compass? Well, I took it off the hot bar. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yep, see, we're heading south. Perfect. That's where we need to be going. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why I sprint at all because the stamina is so bad. So we're off the red trail and we're just on a road, but I believe we're still going south. So we should run right back into the red trail. I have yet to ever run into a bear. Have y'all ever ran into a bear? I've heard them like in the distance, but I've never had to fight one. And I don't even know if I have the gun that could fight one. This is a 10 shot. Then I have the scorpion and wouldn't probably do anything to it. So if I hear bear noise, I'm gonna go way far around. And I do not know what the aggro distance are is for a bear. Still shows them on the red trail. And now here's the actual main road. So we're definitely going the right way. There's a main road and then look right there. Red trail. That picks up right here. Wait, it doesn't split two different ways, does it? No. It kind of curved back this way to the road. I don't know why it's doing that, Sydney. That's confusing. Why is it curving back to the road? Let's see if it goes around because I don't know why it would be going this way unless it takes me back up. Okay, he's taking me around. All right. Right? I don't need to go east, do I? Man, I don't know where Polonia is at. I mean, I know it's south, but maybe I have to go east. Let's get it out of this open road here, and then we'll look on our map. Maybe we do go east. No, we're going back south. Okay. It just kind of took us around this hill or this mountain. Back, going south. And east again, and south again. There was a one server that I played on. They had a mod, which I really liked it. As soon as you equipped your campus, you've got your reading um like on screen you can see if you're going north south east west you know on your screen without having to pull up the compass but yeah if i get into that tournament it is on the mouse and i love the mouse i haven't been back since the story of noah uh which you know, I'm looking forward to getting back on the mouse. Okay. Okay. Listen to that. That sounds like a deer, not a bear, right? Guess I could shoot a deer.
I'm fine running into deer. I don't want to run into a bear. There's the main road down there. It's kind of peaceful. Just listen to the rain slightly fall. It's not coming down hard. I hear that deer. I'm pretty sure that's a deer. Okay, look, what's that? Is that just open sky? I thought that was a building. Rain's starting to pick up. Feel like I'm deep in the woods now. Speaking of peaceful, uh, the rain sounded peaceful. I did release a video mainly because I wanted it something like that. I really loved the music of the mouse and I did like a two hour recording of just the scenery on the mouse of the water and I added all the mouse music to it. So it, it, if you're like me, some people uh, uh, like, I'll just put the video on and then, oh, did I make it? Are we in Polonia? I put that music on uh, sleep to it. So if you're ever needing some sleep music, I put a, a, a mouse music video on there. I think we're in Polonia. I think we might have made it. Let's kind of scope it out real quick. Yeah, look, here's a red trail. It goes right through it. Hate that when you stand in bushes, you make a move, it's, it sounds like someone's sneaking up on you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in Polonia. Let's just get into one of these houses and get out of this rain. house is the best house to get into I'm not sure only one that's easy there's a uh, M4A buttstock let's scope it out real quick I don't see any infected I don't see anything there's a main road there I'm not sure if this is Polonia or yeah, I think it is because it has a lot more houses there was another place going toward Polonia that had a few houses but I won't know until I get to a road sign I wonder if there's a road sign down here. I'm just trying to keep an eye out to see because I don't have a clue what's around here. I don't even know if this is a toxic zone or not. Here's a main road. 
There's a sign right there. All right, let's go check this sign out. Yep. Here we go. Lonia. We did it. Lonia. All right. This is where I wanted to be. Now, let's pick a house. Uh, I don't know if I want to be on the first one that comes into the road in case you're coming that way. I'd rather go back up here. Infected over there. That, yep, yeah, two of them. Thought I had a scope. I didn't have a scope on that one. I had the scope on the Mosin. Yeah, we're gonna get in this one right here. Oh no, no, I'm not getting this one. I learned last time, early on, don't get in the one that has like 800 windows. Yeah, look, there's a bunch of infected there. The rain's bringing them out or something. That yeah, we're not getting in this one. It's a horrible one to defend in case you need to. There's like nothing but windows. chicken killer kill the chicken already I'm gonna run into the zombies trying to kill this chicken you gotta be kidding me water source and zombie come on do you see me There's a water source right next to this one. Still think I want to get up at this one over here. Mushroom. Does that mean someone came through here? I'm always confused on the mushroom thing. This one sucks. There's not even a stove. What kind of house is this? Oh, there's a, there it is right there. I don't like that one. We'll go back to this one. Oh no, that's the one with all the windows. What am I doing? It's the same one I said I didn't want to go into. Get turned around. Look, the red trail goes right through there. Right next to the water source. That's the big house there. Yeah, we have to go back to this one. close some of these doors all right what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get some uh, firewood and we're gonna cut up this chicken and then we're gonna dry off all our clothes 
and we'll figure out exactly what's going on here in Polonia. I probably need to loot some of these houses and then um, see if we can find anything that we need and then we'll move on and continue south. All right, so that's it for this episode. Sam has made her way to Polonia. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.